Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I'm really happy to be with Dr. Kevin Akala, who's a leading cardiac surgeon at Advent Health in Orlando, Florida. Dr. Akala, it is great to see you again. Well, thank you so much. And again, it's a privilege to be here. We've been doing this for so long and, and uh, we're so appreciative of what you've done and developed and how that's helped our patients because it's really an important source of information for them at a time when they may be anxious they can talk to other patients they can see the different blogs the different things that you have available and i really think it makes them feel better it takes away a lot of their anxiety well thank you so much for the kind words and to your point we are going to answer a patient question okay. from a post that came in earlier today okay and dr akala this post comes in from amy and it's a special question, as you're going to see when I read it. Amy writes, Hi, Adam. Hope all is great. I'm having aortic valve replacement with Dr. Kevin Akala on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. So this is coming wow, right up here. We've never right? had that come up before <laughs> right? when it's uh, this next week. Yeah, so she says, I was told Dr. Akala does the procedure with smaller incisions, about four inches. Is there any data about the benefits of this and having a smaller incision and its impact on the recovery. Uh, yes, Amy, I think it does impact the recovery because smaller incisions, we don't open the chest as far. And people usually don't complain typically of, of sternal pain because it's a nice solid bone and it heals nicely. It takes about six to eight weeks, just like a broken arm or leg to heal. But once it heals, it's a stronger, stronger than it was before. But they don't complain so much of pain in the front, but more so in the back as we open the sternum. So by nature of making a smaller incision, we don't open the sternum as far. And so yes, there is less pain during recovery, I feel. Sometimes we'll use a partial sternotomy, typically a whole sternotomy, but the, the shorter or smaller incision really prevents us from opening the sternum as wide, therefore having less pain. Well, Amy, I hope that helped you and Dr. Akala on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, I wanna thank you for not only answering Amy's question, but in advance for taking care of her aortic valve, helping her through this process, along with obviously her family too. So thanks for Absolutely. everything in advance that you're gonna to do to help Amy. Thank you, Adam, it's good to see you again. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.